Hello, so I'm trying out my stickers or sticky paper from Globeland and I've printed on it and oh my god, it's gorgeous. So I'll put it in the Cricut and I added a whole load of different elements together. Hopefully you can see this because it's just stunning and it's funny because I forgot that um, everything would be sparkly. Uh, but oh my god, it's beautiful. Look at that. That is gorgeous. So that's just going to be for a couple of cards. Oh, oh, so many uses for this. And it's just gorgeous. And it's so easy. I think last I just printed on that beautiful paper. Absolutely gorgeous. Hopefully you can see how nice it is. It's stunning. Stunning. Right, I just wanted to show you that. I was so excited. Alright, I finished my card. I'll make another one on camera, but look at how gorgeous. So that's the stickers. So I've been cutting stuff. Look. I broke my nail and it's just a mess. I'll get my stuff on here. So that's my sticky papers. Oh, there it is. There's the other one. That's the other one. So I just backed it up with some paper and I used the dies from the ladies' dresses and the lady dies. They're lovely. Cut out so nice. So you get like that one's smaller. Cut out for quite a few. Ah, you get the smaller one there, three the same size, and then the two bigger ones. Look how lovely they're. They're the cutest. Of course, you can layer them up, but I like it. Oh, sorry, I'm blinding you. I like it. Um, just single with a pair on it. Looks nice. Try not to um, glare too much. <laughs> I am so chuffed. This stuff is amazing. The fact that you print on it is absolutely a game changer. It's just beautiful. And you can put it on different things. I'm thinking. Thinking there might be some other thing I could put them on. I'll get back to you on that. Hello. So I want to show you what I did with the stamps that I got from the Jewel Blonde. This is the first card. I want another one. So I used paper that I painted and I put a cow image on each corner. I just used the stamp and block. So the image is as perfect as I'd like. So that's gone on top of that. I need to get some a new bottle of glue because that one's kind of done. Get that off of there. Right, and then I've got this strip of blue. It's just just gonna go there. And I need a bit of foam, which I forgot to get, so I'll be back. Right, well, got my foam. Just gonna, oh, cow image. Just colour some of the fringe in with some gold pen. Make it stick out a bit. Right, so. I can put it a wee bit higher. Right there, and then I did a. Hold the cow. Hmm. That came out lovely. 
really like it. Definitely be making another one of these. And I'm going to finish off my other card. So this one. Oh, that's the. Uh, oops, get that to the head on me. I'm sewing some. That's the first one. This is the second one. Right, I've already cut the flowers. I just need to locate them all. So, with the holographic paper, I went after you print it, you've got to leave it for a while because if you don't, it smudges. So, because I did one and then I touched it too quick and it had a big smudge on it. So, that wasn't good. So, I just sit it aside, let it dry. I'll check it again later. My image is gorgeous. It's so shiny. So sure that's just the one. I'll probably make more of these as well to stick on. Another whoopsie. Another big one. Up, the glue's dying. Beautiful. Right, I've finished that off camera, I think you get the idea. Because it's just going to be exactly the same as this one, I'll put the petals on it. I absolutely love that paper, I'm definitely going to do more with the paper. And I'll be back, I want to die cut it as well. Right, so I've discovered it depends on, first of all, the dies. Because that plate never cut through very well the first time and I stuck the papers on here and I was trying to peel them back off because it just made a mess so that didn't work but what I did was I got a clean piece of the white paper which finds the hips left clean piece of that put it through um, put it on a piece of blue paper and then put it through the machine and it they cut out fine so I think it might be the, the, what's it called, the magnetic sheet when you're using the electric machine, I can't even remember the name of it now, uh, <laughs> because it makes it soft, because it's got the magnetic sheet behind it when you're using the electric machine, it makes it soft and it, I think it needs more pressure to cut through because on the piece of paper they cut through fine but I had to put them on the big shot so I thought well I'll try it on the big shot with just a single die and as you can see it cut perfect so if I'm going to use dies I think I'll use the, the big shot because you can put extra pressure and you don't have the magnetic sheet which as I think cushions it and you don't get so much pressure going through I'll try to get this out so you can see it Alright, so you can use it in all the different machines. Just got to make sure you put the right pressure on it. And don't use the magnetic sheet. Look at this snowflake. Aw, look at how cute that is. So you can just peel that off and stick it on something and then you can just have it like that. So we've got that, and we have the blue ones, which I said, so I put paper behind, so you can put any colour behind, stick the holographic on, and I used a card, where is it, I had a hard, old credit card I was using, I'll find it where, 
So, as I said, you can have any colour you want behind the the uh, all graphic paper. And if you used like a bigger die, just cut in a circle or something, it'd come out nice. These are plates, so I'm going to put them back in and see if we can get them to cut out. And they're not bad, they're not cut all the way through, but they're not too bad. But I'll give them another go. Alright, so you can play around, see the amount of pressure you need different machines and I mean they definitely cuts on the, the Cricut because we've seen the cards put on the cards <laughs> so I've, I've got more but as I said I'm waiting for it to dry because if you touch it too quick the ink comes off all over your hands and spoils the whole project but I think they're lovely so I'm having fun with these and as I said you can put a different colour bit of paper behind them. You get any colour holographic you want, which is brilliant. And I'm getting another Moo Moo card as well. <laughs> yeah, so very hot bit on my stuff. They are beautiful. And I'll link the products below over and check them out and if you put in number 10 in your basket or check out um, you'll get a 10% discount which is brilliant everyone said cheap anyway to start with so to get an extra discount it's great yeah so I'm going to keep having fun with these right I just want to show you so I used that's just the stamp so I stamped it on a piece of scrap, so it's the white holographic paper, so it's stamped nice. And then I stamped it on a piece of the silver with the stars, and that stamped nice, so i using that as a wee sticker. Oh, that came out lovely. The plain, it prints, but it's, it's still not dry, and... It's smudging so baby wipe, clean it off, and you can start again. If you want to just use it plain or die cut it a bit. The plain holographic the ink just does not sit. But it does on the white and it's probably going to work on the other ones as well. I just need to try them. Oh, you can just stamp directly on. And it dries pretty quick. But the plain one, no. Which is fine, because they're beautiful papers as well. Oh, I'm loving this stamp set. Just a wee tag to send off with my papers. Ah, oh, really chuffed. Thank you for watching. Please comment, like and subscribe. Cheerio!